hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we have an unbagging. Today's unbagging, I don't know how to say this name. I'm gonna butcher it to hell. That's all right though, you'll get the point. Plus I'll link it in the comment section below. Um, the store is called, I wanna say it's R-D-I-Y Lay D-I-Y Store. So I'm guessing it's supposed to say Ready Lady Store. Either way, I, editing Alicia will write it right there. Um, so yeah, so before my daughter got here from Pennsylvania, I ordered two kits that I thought she might enjoy like working on. Minna's not really a crafter, like she's not big into crafts, so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get her to work on these or not, but I figured if nothing else, they'll be nice little snack projects. So let's get into it, shall we? So hopefully you're having a wonderful day. It is a nice breezy, cool day here in North Dakota today. Today is Tuesday, June 18th. Even though you probably won't see this until Thursday. And if you haven't noticed, you guys have been getting a whole lot of videos up lately. So, they do come on foam rollers. So that's nice. That's a plus. Sort of. Oh, I was about to say, they're both on there. Okay. I'm about to flip out. I'm like, excuse me? All right. So they're both on this foam roller. So we're gonna actually take them off so they have a few minutes to relax. And they got rubber bands on here, which I hate rubber bands. So we're gonna get rid of those. We're just gonna remove the foam core. Y'all don't care about that. And so the first thing in the pack is labels. And then they also have a couple of these tiny, teeny tiny little owls that are diamond painted. We, where you can diamond paint them. They're not actually diamond painted, but you get it. Um, they do come with a crap ton of labels. So you get two of these. So that's awesome so that you can label your containers. You got your drills. And you got your two tool kits. Now your tool kits, this one's kind of open a little bit. Ooh, okay, I like that. So you get two squishies, a plate of, oh, okay, so it depends on the bottom of that one, but you get a plate of wax, a couple of baggies, and the boats with the spouts, and then you get the cheapo tweezers, which I, I still use that for other things. Like, they're nice for getting, like, if you get debris on your canvas, debris. If you get debris on your canvas and you need to pick it off, I do use the little cheapo tweezers to get it off. So there's your tool kit. And I've never ordered from this store before. And I noticed that AliExpress did put up a couple of new sellers. You've probably heard of this store because a lot you guys probably shop on AliExpress a lot more than I do. So you guys might have heard of this before I did. But this is a first for me. Oh, okay. So I didn't see the flamingos on the back. So that's really cute. So you have flamingos there, and then we have owls here. So some nice little kid projects. So we're gonna get into the canvases. So I'm gonna separate them. The first canvas we're gonna get into says, be cool. And it's a chubby little unicorn because Minna loves her chubby little unicorns. So we're gonna take this to the edge of the table over here and let it unroll. And they're only 25 by 25. I didn't get them majorly huge because again, when I try out a new company, I like to go smaller first because if you can perfect a small image, bigger images are no problem. So make sure I'm not pulling up glue there. And it is in one sheet. It does have a legend with all the symbols and stuff on it. This is super cute. I really hope she does this one because it's not confetti. And it's a lot of color blocking. So we're just gonna pull that back as far as we can. Canvas looks really good. Minus some mumps and bumps. That canvas actually looks pretty good if we don't stick stuff to it. 
So that is what the image is. It's a cool little unicorn with sunglasses on. And looking at it, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that canvas. It's an absolute perfect canvas. So there is the drill filled. Those symbols look incredibly clear. Now we might have some troubles with the F and the M, which you can see right. Okay, let's turn it upside down because I know there's some in the bottom here. But the F and the M, the, because the lettering is so small, there might be some issues there, but uh, I don't think it'll be a problem to be honest. So we're gonna smooth this back down. And we're gonna take this, make sure we get those bubbles out. Cause again, if you leave bubbles in it after you lay it back down, that can also cause bubbles in your canvas. You don't wanna leave bubbles in it. So we're just gonna smooth it out with our row straightener. And then we're gonna get this other side open to relax this side. Yep, perfect canvas. That's amazing. So yeah, I might have to try this store again for a bigger image because this canvas came absolutely perfect. Um, as for ordering, I ordered this on June 1st. So from June 1st to June, I got this yesterday, so June 17th, it took it about, because it shipped the next day. So it shipped June 2nd. And then I got it June 17th. So what's that, 15 days? Definitely yes. Already, I love them, already. So I will definitely be ordering from them again. I just like to snack, to get snack images from AliExpress because usually I get my bigger images from, uh, I like the pour glue method uh, for my bigger images, so yeah. So we're just gonna make sure that's on there nice and flat. We're gonna flip it over. And there's some wrinkles in the back of the canvas. And again, we all have wrinkles, folks. Let's not judge. And this canvas also ran me $6.44. So you can't beat that. And the quality is there, like, definitely. Um, so let's check out these drills. So if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. All right, so they are packed in there pretty nice. I don't need that. They are packed in there really nice. This is a round, if you couldn't tell, because it does have the training wheels on it. It does have 30 colors because it's a rainbow unicorn. So that is what the image looks like. That should be my new little logo for my channel. So yeah, so they did come nicely in a section here inside. It looks like it has been checked. They get brownie points for having an actual inventory sheet because as you guys know I love me a good inventory sheet so we're going to inventory this like a boss because even though they checked it I want to make sure because we have had instances where it's been checked and some have been missing when we come back I'll let you know if all the drills are here so you ready go colors are there. Something I thought was kind of cool is for number 612 right here. So for 612, I only needed one bag, sorry, because I need 28 drills. They sent me 400 drills. So I don't have to worry. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about running out of anything on this kit. This kit, you know, has everything I need to get started. It's a nice small kit. Um, 
like like I said, it was only six dollars and forty four cents USD, which is American. Um, all the drills are present. The canvas came in perfect condition. Um, I, I don't I don't know. And this again came from the R E D I Y L A D I Y store on AliExpress. I will link this canvas down below. So. I'm going to put this canvas away and we're going to check out this next canvas. So let's see how we do here. Sorry, Olaf is peeling off the table over here. So next canvas. This canvas is something I actually got for myself because I thought it was cute and it has the sun or the moon and the stars. So it's these cute little owls, another 25 by 25. Because more than likely, if Mena doesn't end up doing these, I will do them for myself. Well, she'll probably still get the unicorn one, but... Alright, so let's carefully pull this back. And when you're pulling back this opaque paper, you want to try to pull it back as slow as possible. You don't want to rush and pull up too much. Because you it has a lot of tension on it. So, let's see if we have another perfect canvas. Come on, you can do it. Look how cute that is. Oh my God. They are two for two, two perfectly good canvases. Again, it has a couple of wrinkles in it, but that's not a big deal. A couple of heavy books in the drills and that'll be just fine. But look how freaking cute and clear as day that is. For a 20 by 25, the detail in it is really freaking good. Like you can make out the moon, you can make out the stars. Like the stars actually look like stars. And then there's like little twinkles all over the canvas. This is definitely a quick little snack project. It is small, but it's something you can work up really quick. So again, we're gonna take our spreader here and, or a straightener, not spreader. Let's open up this other side. You want to let these canvases relax when you first get them. Let them get used to the temperature of your house and or room. And then let them sit off to the side for a few minutes to help release some of the tension on them. Or if not, it can affect your glue. You guys, this is so freaking cute. Now, the only thing about this that I don't like, the only downside, is the glue stops pretty far over. Like, it stops right here on the canvas. So, let me zoom you in. That owl is looking at you judgingly. All right, so on the canvas here, you can probably see it, but if not, so this is where the canvas stops. Like that's the end of the canvas right here, but the glue stops right there. So there's quite a bit of canvas. And what you can actually do for that is you can take an X-Acto knife. And I'm not sure if I have mine handy here in my drawer. Let me check real quick. So I try to keep it out of reach of the, oh, I'm knocking you. I try to keep it out of reach of the kids because, you know, they're little and they get into stuff. So what you can do, nope, nope, don't, don't let them look at you judgingly. But I'm back, there we go. Is you can lightly take and not get stuck to the canvas. Take your X-Acto knife lightly down the side of the glue. all the way down where you can't see me. And essentially what that does, when you take that X-Acto knife to the glue, this is some good glue, or I'm sorry, double-sided adhesive. You then should be able to lift up some of that adhesive and the part that you cut should come right on off. Boom. So that's the glue or the tape that we took off. Again, you just lightly take your X-Acto knife, make a line down the edge. And now if you can see, we're gonna zoom you back in. 
<laughs> the eyes are looking at you. So now instead of it being sticky all right here, because here's that, here's the extra that I took off. So now instead of it being sticky all the way out here, it now stops right here. So, oh, sorry. So you can see in the camera where it stops. So instead of it being way out here, now it stops right there. So to show you that again, one more time, in case you missed it, maybe you were looking down at your project. I don't know what you're doing. I don't judge you and your life choices. So all I did was zoom you out so you can actually see what I'm doing. You take your X-Acto knife, and it has to be an X-Acto knife because you want it to be sharp. And you just lightly go down the glue or the adhesive. You just cut down where you want it to stop. Oh, I'm not doing this straight and that's okay. And you don't want to do it too hard because you don't want to cut the actual canvas. So then after you get all the way down to the other side, you just grab it. It might take you a second to grab the adhesive because they do lay it on there pretty good. Some stores lay it on there pretty good. Some of them don't. But this one does. But I think I got it. Yep. And you just pull it all the way off. Boom. There's your double-sided adhesive there. Roll that. And... So yeah. Um... That's how, oh, I guess this was kind of a tutorial too, huh? <laughs> so that's how you get rid of that excess glue on the sides. No big deal. As you saw, it took like 30 seconds. There's what we took off. And now I can work on this without the sides or the bottom being super tacky. But uh, yeah, two perfect canvases, no bumps, mumps, fuss, muss. Like it's, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. All right, so we're going to lay that back down. We're going to smooth it out with our straightener again. And again, I've never heard of this store on AliExpress. I'm not sure if they knew. I did know that they were adding some new stores to AliExpress because I did see a couple of new names. And I think I have like maybe one or two more canvases coming from AliExpress. Um, so yeah, so now that that's all straight. Just gonna make sure that's all nice and straight there. Nope, nope, there we go. Now we're gonna get into them drills. All right, so if you don't like the crinkle noise of the plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. like how they put the inventory sheet in there kind of like sandwich the drills in there so that they can't escape essentially well they can get out the bottom or whatever but when they put them in there they put them in there like this I really do like that um, it just makes it seem so much neater and it stays it's like a sub sandwich so again that is what the image is of it's of a boy and girl owl sitting on the star and the moon Absolutely adorable. Again, folks, I like the celestial stuff. So let's see how many colors this has. This has 29 colors, surprisingly. So let's hurry up and get through this inventory. We're going to give you our final thoughts when we're done. So go. All right. So second canvas. All the drills, again, are there and accounted for. Uh, I don't know what this is about i'm gonna guess they probably like ran out of baggies or something i don't know it's always weird when they do this where they randomly and it, it has like a grocery store sticker on it but you know what as long as it's there that's fine it's 38.57 which i only needed one bag so i'm gonna guess there's about 200 drills in this bag but i would highly recommend this store i mean they they get two big old thumbs up for me uh, the only thing, like I said, the only thing I didn't like was how much glue was on the side. And as you guys know, we took care of that. So no big deal. The canvases came perfect condition. All the drills are there and accounted for. They look great. 
uh, and for smaller images the reason I pick smaller images whenever I go to a new store is because again if they can perfect a small image and get just a little detail and not make it look so blurry then they'll be they'll have no issues with the bigger canvases bigger canvases aren't that difficult but the smaller ones and having to compact that picture down into a smaller size that's difficult so that's the reason why I always choose a small picture first and then I'll go bigger later on so I will definitely be buying from them again you guys should go check them out if you like AliExpress stores again it's the ready lady store or the R-E-D-I-Y-L-A-D-A-Y DIY store on AliExpress I will have these two canvases linked down below so that you can go check out their selection uh, I don't even know what else to say that's that's awesome so that's it for me this was an unboxing from an AliExpress store immediately give them two big old thumbs up um, if you want the price of the owls the owls were six dollars and sixty six cents yes six 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 I know I know but the owls were six 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 the unicorn that says be cool was six forty four I ordered them both on June 1st. They shipped out June 2nd and they got here June 17th. So not bad for shipping. 15 days is to be expected. You want anything after 15 days is kind of a eh, you start to worry about whether or not your package is showing up. But for 15 days, all this stuff is there. It's beautiful. It was, it was on a foam roller. Uh, I can't say that there's anything wrong with the kits. So yeah. Again, go check them out. They're over on AliExpress. So that is it for me. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down at this point. I don't give a crap. If you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. Let, let's face it, folks. It's random. With that said, I'm going to do like I always do and bid you adieu and remind you to be kind. Be courteous, be cool. Bye guys.